students, this is Miss Egger. I am so glad to have you in my Speech 1315 course because I absolutely love teaching this course. So this part of the lecture, remember how I said in our entire lesson that we are going to learn about the instructor, we're going to learn about your peers, we're going to learn about technology, we're going to learn about expectations of the course. Hey, this is the part where you are going to learn about me. And I want to tell you about me in, <laughs> let's see if I can get to the camera, in three topics. I want to tell you about three different things about me. So computer is just a little, ah, okay, there we go. We got it. I want to talk to you about me being from Mountain View and it being my home. I want to talk to you about my education and I want to talk to you about my experience. So let's talk about the first one. Mountain View being my home. I started at Mountain View College as a student oh so many years ago and I started as a student who well honestly I was very shy. Um, I sat at the back of the room and I didn't particularly care to participate and if there was any sort of controversial topic happening, I pretty much opted out of it. And I opted out of it by taking my pencil and erasing the top of the desk because I just felt too uncomfortable participating. I was that college student that uh, felt like I didn't belong, that I didn't deserve an education, that I wasn't smart enough to get an education, and I didn't have a lot of support at home, like very little, like nothing and I didn't know what a college credit was. I did not know what developmental education courses was, were, and I just felt inadequate all the way around as a student. And then the entire college started wrapping their arms around me as a student. And several faculty members mentored me and would say things like, wow, oh, you're smart, I love the way you did that. Um, they helped me understand that uh, I was deserving of an education and I was smart enough to get through that education. But it wasn't only the faculty that wrapped their arms around me, it was also student activities. Um, it was also the registrar's office. It was also continuing education. Um, when all of these people at Mountain View College wrapped their arms around me, and I let them, because you have to let them, that is when I started truly building a level of confidence that said, by golly, I deserve to sit in that classroom. By golly, I deserve that associate's degree. And from there, I just absolutely enjoyed my time at Mountain View College. So I have an associate's degree from Mountain View College, okay? That's why I call Mountain View my home, because that's where I built my confidence as a human being. So that is the first part here. So we just talked about me being from Mountain View, and let's talk about my education. So actually before, I came to Mountain View College. I do, do have um, another associate's degree, and um, I have an associate's of general arts and sciences from uh, Central Texas College in Colleen. So I have the associate's degree from Mountain View. From Mountain View, because I had so much support, um, I transferred to Texas Christian University with a lot of scholarships so that I came out owing very, very little and actually paid that off, I believe, within about six months. So then I transferred directly to, um, after I finished uh, uh, TCU, I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Communication and Human Relation and absolutely enjoyed the field so much that I decided to go on and continue with my master's degree. And so my Master's of Science is in 
communication as well from the University of North Texas. And just like you, I will be a student again as I pursue my doctorate, which I can't say it was a lifelong dream because it's not been a lifelong dream. A master's wasn't a lifelong dream. A bachelor's wasn't a lifelong dream. Even an education wasn't a lifelong dream. I didn't know what I wanted in life until I knew what was out there. <laughs> and when I knew something else was out there, then I wanted to get that. Now, oh, what's a master's degree? I didn't know what a master's degree was. What's a master's degree? All these people wrapped their arms around me and so like, here's what a master's degree is, and here's what it can do for you. I and I was like, okay, I want one of those. So I went out and got it. <laughs> and to me, education is very important. That's why I work in education. I am also uh, in professional development. I teach communication skills to employees that want to improve their communication skills. So that's my education. And that was point number two because point number one was about me being from Mountain View College. So let's move on to point number three and that's my experience. And my experience and I'm pausing right now because I need to... Ah. Okay, I'm going to try to get through this before my battery runs out. So, my, call it, my experience is that I have taught all over DFW. I've taught at Collin College, uh, Mountain View College. Um, I've taught at uh, one of the other Dallas County Community Colleges, UNT, TCU. I taught for TCU for a, over a decade. I have um, taught at the Hispanic Institute of Ministry. I have taught at, ooh, I mean, just quite a few places. A couple of the colleges at Collin College, Grayson College, I um, there as well, have experience there as well. I have taught speech 1311, 1315, 1321, 1318. I have um, taught listening. I have taught a whole semester of nonverbal communication. I've taught a whole semester of, 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 of. Oh my gosh, so many. I will list them so that you know them in writing, right? So I live what I love. And I am so glad that you are in this class with me. And I'm so happy to share with you the three main things about me. And that is MVC is my home, my education, and my experience. And I have to end this video before the battery runs out of my computer because I don't have it plugged in and I lose the whole video. All right, see you for the next lecture.